We had a Strombolian style eruption of the Etna. That is the way a fountain of lava a few hundred meters into the sky, creating this uh, amazing uh, sight. It was a small compared to what it is usually, and the volcano is more than 3,000 meters tall, so a few hundred meters is not that big. But the thing is that we have a history of Etna erupting in this way. Then after that comes the big one, what we call as paroxysm, huge eruptions, which sends a lot of, you know, uh, Pelinian uh, uh, eruption, ash mostly, into the sky, several kilometers into the sky, disrupts the air traffic. And uh, this is the most probably is a prelude to that. From a distance, it looks like that. The summit, as you can see, only is visible. But when you look at the real image, because this Etna practically looks almost like a shield, although it is not a shield volcano. When you look at the thermal image, this is also the size of it. When I say small, compared to the size of this, it is small. This is a volcano created by the collision of the Africa with the Eurasian plate, pushing the uh, remnants of the Tethys Ocean under the Eurasia. And the result is that this molten Tethys uh, Oceanic Plate um, comes back as a volcano in the Italy and all, all across the Middle East.